Hey guys, hey gals, hey party people. Welcome to the 2023 edition of the Grayson Highlands Trail Run. Of course, we've got the 50 mile, the 50K, the half marathon, and new this year, the eight miler. Um, all happening, of course, first weekend, first Saturday, Sunday in May at Grayson Highlands State Park in Southern Virginia. I'm your race director, Sean Runbone Blanton, or as my friends call me, Sean Michael. Maybe you've seen my podcast or listened to my podcast, the Bend Don't Break Running Podcast. If you have no idea who I am, very nice to meet you guys, hopefully in person at the race come race weekend. So every year with every event that we do, I like to kind of give a heads up kind of what to expect. Um, at this point, we're getting pretty close to the race. Um, you should be kind of like coming to a conclusion with all your training or lack thereof. Um, I think a lot of people sign up for this race. They see ponies, they see views. And they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna come out here. This, have no doubt about this, that this is a true mountain running race. This is not flat at all. There will be a mix of very rocky trails, some double track, some old road beds, some single track, um, some paved sections. Um, there's a little bit of everything, some very steep climbs, some very gradual climbs, some steep downs, etc., etc., etc. You will also be responsible for navigating the entire time. I flag almost the entire course myself. Um, I put a lot of flagging out there where it looks like flag day. Um, prior to each race, like at the start of the race, I'll explain to you more specifically about how, how it's flagged. But regardless, if you see flags, it means come this way or you're on the right path. Um, sometimes when you're in the highlands, when we get up there, kind of not really above the tree line, but where there's a lack of trees, um, there might be a lot of little paths going all which way. Stay on whatever you're on look for flagging, look for that. We also have available for you uh, on the website. You can go to uh, course details, which has on the runbumtours.com website, of course, which has all the information on the race. Um, anything else, ultra sign up, whatever, it's just gonna have a little breeze over. Please go to our website. Once again, runbumtours.com. Myself, Ashley, um, uh, put a lot of time, effort into making sure all that stuff gets updated. Ashley's done a phenomenal job making runner's handbooks, crew handbooks, all this stuff like that. I've written out directions to all this stuff like that. Double, triple check, make sure it's okay. I make all the maps as well. Um, so make sure you check that. But if you go in to runbumtours.com, you go to races, you click on Grayson Islands, and then you, it'll bring you the main page. You scroll down just a little bit and you'll see at the bottom of that, there's uh, multiple sections here. I'll turn it around for you. Um, you have course details, runner info, volunteers, crew info, okay? So if we look at that, we click on course details. Um, this will show us the map for the 50 miler, also has the aid station chart, Next to that, uh, with all of the races, it does the same thing. Um, it does not have that for the eight miler. There's no aid station. You're doing eight miles, we'll tell you where to go. Um, it's not that crazy. Um, we will probably have a map updated for you on there, but basically you are starting and finishing with the half marathon. Okay, now with that being said, you can go in there and you can check out, okay, here is the mileage, here is where um, there's water only, there's aid, there's crew access, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So just um, double check all of that stuff and make sure you're um, up to date with that. Also, a cool thing about this, you know, we also have buttons where you can download the GPX. Um, on our CalTopo maps, if you click on the open in CalTopo, right? Open this map in Cal Topo. All right, so this is our 50 mile route. Now, if I just click on this route, I can click profile and look what it does. It generates the profile and you can see our start finishes here. Um, and if you take your cursor and you scroll across this, it will show you on there where you are, um, which is a pretty awesome feature. Um, it also tells you about how far everything is. Um, please note that all of the mileage on everything is completely ish. So if you are any race distance that we have there, um, everything, 
on your GPX file that you download, whether you navigate that from that or not, or you're just looking at what your mileage is on your watch, everything is approximate. It could be up to 20% incorrect, you know, one way or the other, longer, or shorter, I don't know, okay? So please just be aware if you're fighting cutoffs. I feel personally that with the extension of all of the cutoff times for the 50 miler, um, some extensions for the 50K, you should have more than a reasonable amount of time to be able to get through the course. Now, with that being said, specifically only for our ultra marathons on Saturday, um, which is the 50 mile and 50K, of course, which are the only events happening on Saturday, um, the eight mile and half marathon are Sunday, um, again, if that's the first time you're hearing that, please go read the website, runbumtours.com. It will tell you all the information you need to know. Um, but with the ultra distances, we have made some minor but major changes to the race courses uh, from all previous editions. Um, two notable things. Number one is the 50 miler is more like 50 miles. Same with the 50K being more like 50K. So uh, before things were a little bit short. So this will add extra time for you. Um, and, uh, you know, so plan accordingly. If you've run this before and you know the route or think you know the route, it's different. The 50 mile and 50K both do something differently at the very beginning of the race. If that makes sense. Um, now, with that being said, the other major change that we've made is uh, aid station location. Okay. Our scales aid station, which is technically our first aid station for the 50 mile and the 50 K has been moved completely. It is not in the scales anymore. It's about a mile and a half, two miles past that on a short out and back. It's called the seed orchard aid station because it is on seed orchard road road. Um, oddly enough, where they have a Fraser fir seed orchard where they actually, um, grow, uh, Fraser firs and um it's really cool anyways but you'll hit that and that means that if you're expecting that aid station to be in this big open area that normally is it's not there it's past there on the 50k for your first aid station for the 50 miler you own you will not hit that on the way out like you will go the first aid station is like 16 miles in at fox creek aid station um so and then when you do the Fox Creek loop and come back up to where the scales is and where the aid station used to be. It's about two miles past that um, is where the seed orchard aid station is. So make sure you're planning for that. Again, our maps, aid station, uh, and all the GPX stuff, all of that is accurate. It has been changed as of at least a week ago. So double check for that. Um, with that being said, um, we have 850 people registered over the whole weekend. If you can come Friday night to come get your packet, please help us out. Please help us out. Morning of the race, get there like an hour before, please. We will do our best. I've got extra porta potties um, with all the people we have. Uh, we need all the help we can get from volunteers. So if you or a loved one or somebody's with you can help us with packet pickup, whether that's Friday night, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, or at an aid station on Saturday, we'd love to have you. Uh, love to have you. Um, you know, send us a message, info at runbumtours.com. Also on our uh, Facebook event page, there's an I volunteer link directly to where you can just go in and register yourself um, for wherever you might want or be able to go. It is much appreciated. We cannot do these events without volunteers uh, every year, uh, husbands, spouses, um, kids, uh, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, they all come and help out in addition to runners that we have helping out at our aid station. So it is much appreciated. Uh, also, uh, people volunteering, um, if you look on our website, you can transfer those credits for uh, you know future race entries, uh, even if you're not the one volunteering. So it's much appreciated and we wanna say thank you with the entries as well. Okay, let's see what else. At multiple times during this race, you will be on or crossing a paved road. Um, all races at the very end will be going up a paved road. This is the main road, Grayson Highlands Lane. Please be careful. There will be cars 
ready to just mow you over because they have no idea you're there, even though we put signs up, blinking lights, all this stuff like that. Please be careful, run on the left side of the road. That means into oncoming traffic. That way you can see the driver and get out of the way if need be. Do not just run all over the road, please, dear God. Um, with that being said, it's very, very important. If you're listening to music, maybe you turn that off. Maybe you, you take your headphones out, maybe you take them off so that you can not only look, but you can hear for cars coming and stuff like that. If you see a car, let people know. Um, let's see what else. Again, make sure you're navigating for yourself during this um, race. Um, these are serious. Um, this is a serious, serious, serious wild weather area. Okay, it sounds weird to say, but it's like, our entire course is basically above 4,000 feet in the south. We've had snow, we've had rain, we've had sleet, we've had hail, uh, we've had hot days, we've had cold days. Um, you got to just watch the weather week of. I'll try to send out an email uh, week of the race kind of with what things might be. Um, always in the high country, know that if something happens, you get hurt, it could take seven, eight hours to get you out of there. So make sure you have extra layers just in case you have extra capacity for water, extra food with you, consider a space blanket. Um, I wouldn't recommend filtering any water because it doesn't matter how high you get, the ponies are going to get higher than you are. And that means their pony poop is filtering into whatever water you're drinking. And yes, I know the filters probably work, but I don't ever take chances. So make sure you guys study the race course, the elevation profile, where the aid stations are, where you can get water. We want everyone to finish. Um, also, if for whatever reason you're hurt, you're injured, you haven't trained enough, and you feel maybe 50 miles is too long, maybe 50K is too long, maybe a half marathon is too long, and you want to move down into another distance, please let us know. We are more than happy to do that for you. Um, if you just send us a message, go to runbumtours.com backslash about. Runbumtours.com backslash about has, that is our, has frequently asked questions. Also, it has an area you can submit um, a question. So just do it that way. It helps us like logistically. It's so much easier to handle stuff um, from that area. So um, we'd love to help you out. Also, packet pickup, you need uh, an ID, a government issued ID. If you're under the age 18, don't worry about it. If you're over the age 18, aka you are an adult, we need to see an ID. Unfortunately, we do not allow people to pick up packets for other people. Regardless, you have plenty of time Friday, plenty of time before the race Saturday and Sunday. It's just an insurance thing for us. So thank you for working with us. Um, I'm trying to think what else. There's not a lot of cell phone service in the park. Verizon has spotty here and there, especially at our start finish. You might get one bar standing on the stairs. You put, you know, standing on top of your car, you might get two. Um, so it's very, very spotty. Um, another thing I asked you guys to do is um, when you're running and you're coming into an aid station, we're writing down your bib numbers. Please make sure that is visible in front of you. Even if you have layers on, um, we need that. We also need that the finish line to give you a finish time. This is not chip time. Um, we use ultra sign up uh, timing software, which we have to manually uh, pump in your or plug in your bib number when you cross the finish line. So please make sure uh, you're aware of that. Um, at our camp, store aid station. I've got two Porter Johns down there. The other aid stations, uh, Fox Creek for the 50 miler does have a, uh, a, to uh, a toilet down there. Um, it's not, it's a pit toilet. Um, let's see, uh, the other aid stations do not have toilets. So make sure that you're aware of that. Um, start finish obviously has a ton of restrooms. Um, also at our start finish is the visitor center. Um, they have a lot of really cool Grayson Highlands gear for sale. We also will have Grayson Highlands gear for sale. Um, some of it is previous years, etc. My mom will be out there selling it Friday night, Saturday morning, and Sunday morning as well. Bring cash uh, as Venmo. Like you can use Venmo. But you're not going to get cell service up there, so cash is preferred. Um, speaking of cash. Um, when you enter the park, make sure you're aware that it is $10 a car. I believe double check Grayson Highland State Park website on the weekends. It's 10 bucks. Make sure you have cash um, at three, four, five, six, seven in the morning whenever you're coming in there. Marcy, the head park manager, the park ranger, as we call her, 
Um, she will be out there manning the gate. And if she's doing um, having to stop for credit cards, it is going to back up so far. OK, help us help her um, and start the race on time. So show up early, bring cash. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a great time. Let's pray for good weather. Uh, I'm praying for everybody in their training, hoping that you guys and gals are just killing it again. Last thing you can do, Stairmaster, 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 anything technical you can run, get on it, um, get in your power hiking. Um, as a unsolicited advice that I give everyone before a lot of our races is, you know, when you get out there, hike the up, jog the down, run, walk the flats, just keep moving. Make sure you're staying on top of your hydration. Make sure you're staying on top of your nutrition. Have fun. Take photos talk to people around you. The whole point of this race is to be fun, right? And to be a life-changing experience. I really, really hope that everyone um, realizes the amount of effort that we put into this event uh, and all of our events, but this is our largest trail race. I'm very, very, very grateful to Marcy and all of the Grayson Highland State Park staff, um, to the U.S. Forest Service, the Mount Rogers Ranger District, to the um, rugby search and rescue squad who comes out there and keeps you guys safe. Um, I mean, it's just, we're, it's true blessing that we get to show this to other people and we get to enjoy this. So, um, and if you're not going to make the race for whatever reason, please log on to ultrasignup.com. Um, go into your account, go into registration history, click on this event, edit and cancel. That really helps us know how many people are going to be there. Um, I love every one of you guys, and I really appreciate you guys supporting not only my events, my podcast, and everything we do as a 300-time ultra runner and a lover of all things trail running. This is a true dream come true, and I hope to share that with each and every one of you. So without further ado, I will let you go, and we will see you guys uh, come race weekend. If you have any questions and it's not covered on our runbumtours.com website under the Grayson Highlands race, please shoot us a message, runbumtours.com backslash about. All right, we'll see you soon.